Call Halal Yahweh. Call Halal Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekha Hakadash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, blessings, salutations to the hopefully elect on the four corners, putting in his work in faith, in truth, and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom. On a daily basis to do so into the few sisters that are trying to re receive the word of Yah by Shem Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to meet us in silence. I bid you shout warm. All right, another oldie but goodie. Like I said, this has all been done before. You know, by, done better by better. Just going through the spirit. It's going to go through Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter, man. Okay, I mean, Deuteronomy eighth chapter, man. It's basically the most high is telling you to remember him, man. Remember, remember what he's done. Um, for you, man. Okay, so that you can be, you may receive the the reward in the end. Okay, I'm just gonna go through the scriptures. The scriptures speak for itself. Deuteronomy 81. It reads, "All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore unto your fathers, man." Okay, so the Most High is telling you, just listen, listen carefully, and, and listen. To what he's commanding you, that he's giving you, so you can live and multiply, okay, and possess the land that the Yahweh swore to your fathers, man, okay. The uh, the Most High is the keeper of covenants, man. All right, he don't he don't break covenants, man. All right, and we can go to uh, Deuteronomy forty one. It reads, "Now therefore hearken, O Israel, okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Yashallah, princes of the power." Unto these statutes and into the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live and go in and possess the land which Yahweh power of your fathers giveth you, man. All right. So, um, go to Ezekiel 20 and 19. I am Yahweh your power, walk in my statutes and keep my judgments. And do them, okay? And hallow my Sabbath, and they shall be a sign between me and you that ye may know that I am Yahweh, your power, man. All right? Verse 2, Deuteronomy 8 and 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which Yahweh thy power led the these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart whether thou was keepest his commandments or not man all right so with the, with, what it's telling you is that it's telling you remember he's telling israel to remember the 40 years in the wilderness man okay which the most high did that to humble israel okay and to test israel to, to try their hearts, man, all right? To, to see whether or not you would keep, keep keep his commandments, all right? Verse three, and humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man do not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the out of Yahweh, doeth man live, man, all right? So it's telling you that he 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 had to humble Israel. He caused them to suffer, and fed them with manna that their fathers never knew nothing of, man. Okay, to 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 try to increase the belief, to try to increase the faith, man. He was testing them to see where their heart was, man. Okay, and the same thing that he's doing he's doing with with us right now. All right, verse four: the raiment, thy raiment. Wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years, man. Okay, so the they they had the clothing and and and, and their shoes didn't wear out for the forty years, man. Okay, Jake should have took that as a, as a as a sign. But hey, verse five, thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteth chasteneth his son so Yahweh thy power chasteneth thee man okay so understand that just like a man chastens his son so does the Lord chasten you man why because he loves you okay all right 
simple and plain. Therefore, verse 6, Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy power to walk in his ways and fear them, man. Okay? How many times have we heard that, man? All right? Verse 7. For Yahweh thy power bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks and water, of fountains and death, that springs out of valleys and hills, man. Okay? The land that he promised to our fathers, man, if we were to keep, keep his commandments, man. All right? Back to our land, man. A land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of all all, all olive and honey, which we have never seen here in um, in Babylon, man. What we see is concrete, rebar, reverb, rebar, what they call that shit. They make the streets and, and and just a bunch of destruction, man. People look at it as progression, but with Esau clearing the land, killing the wildlife, you know, clearing the trees and the shrubbery out to lay down reverb void and, and boy and concrete. Man, that's that's really death, man. Y'all looking at it something that's add to, but it's really it's really death, man. Okay. Verse 9. A land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness that thou should not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. Man. Okay. Verse 10. When you have eaten fruit and art full, then thou shalt bless Yahweh thy power for the good land which he have given thee, man. Okay. So, when the, when the Lord gives you something, man, and blesses you, man, you should give reverence to him, man. You should give him high praises, man. You're really supposed to spread the praises out without, man, to, to all, man, of how merciful the most high power is, man. Okay? Verse 11, Beware that thou forget not Yahweh thy power, and not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, man. Okay, so don't forget, all right, which which we which our people do, man. Okay, Jake is quick to forget, man. All right, when it's when it's downtime, it's oh Lord, oh y'all, please, you know. But when it's everything is good, see the, the Most High is is, is is put is put away, man. All right, verse twelve, lest. When thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built got goodly houses, and dwelt therein, and when thou herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget Yahweh thy power, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, man. Okay, so when it's all good, okay? When you got big herds and flocks of cattle, you got big silver and, <laughs> and gold. You, you know what I'm saying? Then don't let your heart, don't, don't get proud, man. And forget the most high power who brought you out of bondage, man. Okay? Remember the Yahweh, your, your power, man, and all the works that he has done, man. Verse 15, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness wherein were fiery surface and scorpions and drought where there was no water who brought the fourth water out of the rock of flint who did that man the most high power who fed thee in the we had water out of a rock man okay man verse 16 who fled thee in the wilderness with who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to do to do thee good at thy latter end, man. Okay. He fed you with, with, with manna, okay, which the fathers have, have not known that is that has never had no knowledge of that, man. Okay, to show you the power and the magnificence 
of the most high power okay he did that to humble you and test you man so then in the, in the end okay at the end of this that you might prosper okay you negro latino and native american It says, from verse 16, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to do good at thy latter end. And thou sayest in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand have gotten me this wealth, man. Okay? So don't say that you did it. All right? They can give his credit. I, I, I did it. No, it's the most high power, man. All right, verse 18. But thou shalt remember Yahweh thy power, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. So all of this is to the end game is to, to increase Israel at the at the end, man. We just have to remember our power, okay? Acknowledge him, follow these laws, things, commandments, and endure. To the end, have faith, man. He did not already promise it to us. He's not a covenant breaker. All right. And it shall be, and if and it shall be if thou do at all forget Yahweh without power and walk after other gods, okay, other powers, and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which Yahweh destroyed before your face. So shall ye perish because ye would not be obedient to the voice of Yahweh, your power, man. Okay, be obedient to the voice of Yahweh, your power, man. You see him starting with the apostles and the elders on down, man. Okay, so remember your power, man. Fear your power, man. Call the law, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, the Kahakodash, the bonus to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace, bliss, and salutations to the hopefully elect on the four corners, putting in his work in faith and in truth and sincerity, risking their lives on a daily basis and freedom. On a daily basis to do so. Hey, Shalom, a bar, a bar. Remember your power.